Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with a, another 3D printing video. Today we're going to be looking at the Spark Maker screen faults, a screen reaching the end of its usable life cycle, which is normally about three months of constant use, a year of casual. We've purchased one off eBay encountered further problems and resolved it to a working 3d printer again this video is for those wishing to learn to dismantle and reassemble the spark maker and having it print again utilizing parts found on amazon or ebay this is definitely not good the spark maker 3d printer is not working quite well and only producing solid bricks of resin. Having a look online, uh, the contrast of the LCD screen is absolutely blown. It's a clear screen that uh, has imagery projected on it and it's going to need a replacement. Took the screws out. <coughs> Interestingly, it actually leaks a bit. So I'll probably clean up all of this. Bit of a clean up, not getting anything on the screen. It's all got uh, tape on it. It's just standard electrical tape. As soon as we change the screen, I assume it just gets swapped out. All the tape off, being very gentle, being a ribbon cable. A clear glass comes out. And third action, the power must be off and the plug must be removed. The power supply has a capacitor inside. In that layman's term, once it's turned off, it can still uh, discharge electricity in your hands touching any components. This removed, uh, don't mess with it for a few minutes and it's ready to pull apart. On the top, remove every single screw. On the bottom behind the screw rail, there's another three screws. Remove all of them with your Allen key and we are able to remove by pushing the button in. The two screws there holds the button in. You push that in and you're able to pull the whole assembly apart. Resistance, we're able to pull this out but not too hard or fast as we've got quite a jungle of cables here. Now right at the front We've got one cable here for the controller. We just uh, pop out, nice and gentle, as to not to rip anything. And as uh, our ribbon for the screen is uh, very tense, there's a little uh, metal flap that we flip up, and we're able to remove this. And there are also two white cables for the elevation to make this completely removable. And what I was exactly talking about is this little piece here. You can see that that's in the down position, that's in the upward position. We want it up to gently slide out our cable. And we have uh, the two connectors there for removal. Our button is also completely removable. When we reassemble it, we screw these two on first and gently poke this in as we're reassembling. So this is the whole bottom bit. Uh, it's awesome to see the fan is a standard computer fan that can be eventually replaced as well. Having a look at our screen, it just pops out and our cable feeds through. I've reassembled it, turned it on, turned it off again and there's just absolutely no contrast. This is the listing that I found on eBay, that 35 US dollars. Uh, this one claims to ship in Australia. I assume there's uh, many warehouses in various continents such as uh, Europe and the United States. 50 Aussie dollars total for me. I've uh, put an order on it and it's uh, estimated in about a week to two weeks. I'm hoping just a couple of days. We'll plug it in and test it. Update, a package has arrived and this is exactly what I was looking for. No damage. The protection screen is much appreciated 
and the packaging is pretty good very happy for what I've paid for absolutely identical first we feed the new screen with the right ribbon cable going through this hole black side up then we screw in the adjustable knob each cable has been added as appropriate slide it all in button first at least one screw on the bottom at this stage we're actually starting to lose screws and gain them but that's okay as long as the assembly stays shut we'll watertight it peel the screen protector off hang on this screen doing a dry test is far worse than the original with only these fine lines what is going on they both have the same serial number made about the same year late 2017 but the one on the right which is giving us problems has a red band so I'm going to plug it in a few more times the old screen has a slight after shadow of what it is meant to print the screen is just allowing UV to pass has lines and completely faulty I swapped it a few times the old one back in to make sure it still reads data this screen is just simply no good update five days later I was sent some firmware by the seller and all I've got is a different pattern of lines the screen from my belief is still very faulty absolutely amazing news the third screen I've ordered is working so we'll assemble the tank we've got the other two and do a test print while still on and with the glass case on we need to tape up the edges where light is spilling through so we don't get um, little thin walls of hardened resin the same rules apply for my airbrush I remembered the edges being a bit greasy when I removed the tray bit grease or tiniest amount of resin has uh, leaked and hardened there so the rest wouldn't pour in the machine gonna use some petroleum jelly to cover the edges only to make it a bit more li liquid tight all assembled fill up the tank with either water or alcohol spirits and see if there is any leaks before we plug it in I've used alcohol because it also doubles up to clean it up been printing for a few hours no leaking looking pretty good so far after two reasonably successful prints they started peeling off the bed as the resin was bad we started getting whole chunks again and just three prints and the screen is completely blown I've got another one coming what ended up happening I swapped the firmware on the SD card to the original file that came with the 3D printer and this caused the issue with the new screen rolling back to the firmware that was an update provided by the seller had the screen working again as normal I'm staying with the new firmware with all other screens and it's been fairly successful since updated the firmware again and she is working this is our printer working and in full best performance again we're printing back to a regular schedule had a bit of a problem to adhesion on the bed I've also figured that out and how to get it quite flat this will be in the next video on leveling the bed and getting an ideal print. For now, that is changing and fault finding your screen. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. And we'll keep tuning and working this 3D printer. Catch you later.